Thank you for your service, Lin. Has the Undersea Abyss Current been taken care of? Fiona and her team are closely monitoring the Abyss Current, and everything is still under control. Hmm. How's Ruby doing? She's doing great. That reminded me. Dr. Rubilia is also here. You two must have a lot to catch up on. Rubilia... she's also here? Yes, the Doctor is currently free to carry out activities within a small area. 
This trip of hers is laid to my charge. Can the doctor move about freely? Yes, we've developed a jammer to help conceal the doctor's biosignal and cut off the hive consciousness she shares with gray space entities. However, we still need to observe whether the doctor, with the device on, can be affected by Ruby, who has the special features of gray space entities. In short, it has achieved the expected purpose. It interferes with the Hive Mother's ability to sense the Doctor's presence or read her mind. The current situation is relatively stable, but we need to follow its development closely. That's great. Come on, let's go see Ruby. She didn't say anything, but we all know how much she misses you. Rubilia. Excuse me. I need a word with Rubilia. Go see Ruby. I'll be right with you. Ruby seems to be very fond of that doll. After all, it was a gift from you. It's Ruby's best friend, and she calls it Dolly. This is probably Ruby's only memory of the past. Is that so? I wish she could forget everything that has happened, and grow up like other kids, happy and safe. Not just Ruby, I hope everyone could walk out of the dark shadow of gray space entities, and all tragedies would end here. I look forward to a bright future. In this regard, I haven't wavered or changed. No, not only that. My attitude, my pursuit, and the answer I'm dying to verify. None of these have changed. I just can't imagine how you have been all these years. Do you sometimes regret such a choice? We often regret the decisions we have made, when there could have been changes. We feel disappointed and helpless with the results. So we dream about another possibility. But burying your head in the sand doesn't help the situation. Having the Christomax implanted and traveling to the confounding abyss are steps I must take. There is no other choice for me. Even if the hope is slim, this I must do. It's the only way. What would you do if you were me? <laughs> wow, you were in Inners! That's amazing! Are there many houses made of shells under the sea? <laughs> I'd love to live there with Lin. Once certain things over there are resolved, we will have opportunities to go together. Deal. We pinky promise. Yes. Pinky promise. I've been very good recently. Lin. I promised you that I would take medicine, get checkups, go to bed on time, and eat less candy. And I have kept my word. Ah, is Lynn busy? I'm back, Ruby. Lynn! How have you been? Any more nightmares? Not at all. I haven't had any dreams recently. Actually, I slept through every night. That's good. Hmm. Have you grown taller? Oh, really? You think so? <laughs> Very soon, I'll be as tall as Lynn, and I can go on operations with you. You will make a great comrade, Ruby. I look forward to that day. Ruby, just a moment. Sorry to interrupt your break, Lynn. We just received a message. The Abyss Current has become even less stable. We need to figure out a plan as soon as possible. Understood. We're on our way. Lin... When this is all over, let's visit Inners and stay in a shell house together. Sounds like a plan. And we will stay as long as you like. Yeah, I will be a good girl. Lin, come back soon to get me. I will. 
We have a deal. Executor, Shirley, time to go.
Thank <laughs> you. 